Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. Apologize for the lack of uploads lately, but my life has been a little bit crazy. So anyway, today I have a fun haul of some things that I have gotten um, over the course of the past week or two. And I really wanted to share with you guys. Um, I got stuff from Target, Michaels, Ross. Um, I think that's pretty much it. A couple things from Dollar Tree, I think. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So, in no particular order here, I'm just going to start showing you what I picked up. I'm so excited. So, <laughs> I went to the Target Dollar Spot. Um... I don't go to Target very much because the Target that I have locally is not the best. They just don't tend to carry a lot of stuff anymore. It's kind of gone downhill. Um, but I actually went um, about an hour away to a different Target. Um, not specifically for that, but I happened to go. And I hit the jackpot because they had some really good stuff. So I went to the Target dollar spot. And I found all the cute Halloween and fall things and these pumpkins. So I got this one that obviously is um, like white or cream colored and it has bats and cats and skulls and spiders and and it is just it is so like just me and I can't wait to use this for a photo prop for my uh, planner spreads. That's really the main reason I bought it, but also for not the main reason, one of the main reasons. And also for, you know, just decorative for um, my house. And so I got this black, like soft pumpkin to go with it. And it's got like a distressed stem on it. And then this one is so freaking cute. It's, um, it's got like bones and flowers. Um, yeah, I love all of these. I'm very, very excited about these. Like, a little too excited and when I when I was in the dollar spot and I saw this stuff I let out like I didn't try to contain my excitement and I was like oh my god and this woman and her kids like I scared the crap out of them my mom was dying laughing because I just I can't control myself so also in the dollar spot I found these which um my friend Queen had shared with me on Instagram, somebody had posted this, and I was like, I need those. And um, they're $3, and you get three of them, and they're obviously just chalkboard shaped like, you know, um, friggin' tombstones. So, I'm so excited. Or coffins. Coffin. Right? Co yeah. It's currently 1.30 in the morning, so just, you know, bear with my brain, but I am very excited um, to also use these as props for photos and in my house. I'm just not sure what I'm going to write on them yet, and I have to find my chalk, but, you know, we'll get there. Something else from Target. Um, kind of a simple thing, but it is a ruler that, so the ruler I've been using is incredibly cute. It's this UB one that I got at Walmart on their, um, in their back to school section last year on clearance. And it's very cute and I love it. However, this one I feel like will be really helpful for when I'm doing like Buja layouts because it's clear because I can see through it. And also it has this really nice finger grip. So I just, I felt like this would be more like functional um, to use. So I picked it up. It was only like maybe $2 or something like that. So yeah, not too bad. This was also from Target. I also lost my mind when I saw this. I'm going to admit, um, this was a kid's collection for back to school. So this More Than Magic brand is, it's, you know, targeted at children. Um, I don't care. It is very cute. This is a washi tape dispenser shaped like a cassette tape. I mean, like, how how was I supposed to not buy this? Like, oh my god, and it came with a roll of tape. I didn't even realize it comes with a roll of iridescent washi tape. 
it was five dollars and i can't wait to use it um, and i think there's one more thing from target or two things two more things from the dollar spot so obviously i had to have these felt bat stickers because i had to and this was really interesting so it's scrapbook paper and the patterns match these patterns on the pumpkins so that's exciting and also it comes with a stencil sheet so i thought that would be really fun for maybe oh maybe like october mood tracking oh that could be really fun so yeah it comes with 14 sheets of scrapbook paper it was a dollar it was a dollar yeah i was geeking out hardcore over there in the dollar spot all right i'm trying to keep track of what i have shown you what i have not okay so um next i guess we'll move into the ross stuff because it's not that much um most of the things i got at ross were like household things i got a new um mat for in front of our um kitchen sink and it's got sushi on it and then I also got like a dish drying mat um I'm gonna post these on my Instagram and uh so make sure you follow me there but I got some really I love Ross like Ross is one of my favorite stores ever and if you have never been to Ross because you think I mean it's called Ross dress for less so a lot of people just think of it as clothes but they have so many cute household things like don't sleep on Ross is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, just don't sleep on Ross. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting pictures of the stuff I got because I just have to share. It's too cute. A couple things I got at Ross. These are random things, okay? Oh, actually, I lied to you. This is one thing from um, And That, Christmas Tree Shops, And That. If you have an And That, it's the worst. I know it's the worst store name, but it's such a great store. <laughs> This is the only thing I got that's not like household. Like we got a lot of um, little decorative like Halloween things. And again, I'm going to be trying to post those on my Instagram. Um, but we also at and that we get like, you know, things that we need like dishwasher detergent and like <laughs> just random stuff because they have really good prices. Um, but I found these paper clips and I... Um, actually getting low on my paperclip stash so I thought this would be good and I've got some you know a little bit of variety here I was out of black paper clips and I didn't have any of this like copper color so yeah just paper clips but I'm excited because you can always use a good paper clip so that was um yeah that was from and that back to Ross only a couple things here from Ross that I wanted to share um this was two sketch pads and it was $2.99 for two sketch pads and they seem really nice to I me mean, obviously I haven't opened them they're in they're in like a clear wrapper um and did I need these no but <laughs> I just like to have sketch pads laying around just for you know but just because why not um, and they seem pretty, yeah, like they're pretty nice and just to have them on the shelf for when I just feel like doodling or journaling or whatever. Um, yeah, because like the paper in sketch pads is, yeah, it's really nice. Oh, that's nice paper. I love that. Um, so, you know, I might, I might use this to like work on my lettering. I really want to work on my lettering. It's not the best. So, yep, yeah, two journals for three bucks. Again, didn't need them. Not journals, sketch pads. Didn't need them, but um, I do think that I want to use at least one of these for practicing my uh, lettering because I would like to improve my handwriting. So that is the first thing from good old Ross. And then the final thing from Ross, because again, the other stuff I got was like household stuff which i will post on my ig um but these erasers were so cute so they all say the same thing um they all say you got this on them yeah they are just they were just too cute and they all came in a pack together and they were like a dollar 20 something um 
again, do I need more racers? No. But I did think uh, they were just too cute to pass up and also could be used as photo props. So, and they're also just cute little things to have lying around, you know, and they all come individually wrapped, which I don't know why I think that's just like so freaking cute. And now the last little bit of stuff is from Michaels. And I'm pretty, pretty damn excited. So first thing, um, I got a couple or three more uh, mild liners because prior to this, um, my mild liner collection is kind of small. Um, I started off with just a small pack to see if I really like them, if they, you know, if the hype was worth it. Um, I had a light gray, pink, green, purple, and then like a, um, not, not pink. It's like a reddish. It's not pink. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and a blue. So I wanted to pick up some more. So when I went to Michael's, I, they had a bunch of the different packs, but they either had colors I already had or colors I didn't want. <laughs> So I decided to just pick up a few individual mild liners. Um, I really wanted a pink one because uh, I currently just have a, um, it's like a reddish color. So I wanted like a light pink. And then I have a gray, but this is a dark gray, which I'm really excited about. Um, just, just because I don't, I'm just excited. And this is a brown, which, um, it's funny because with like pens, I've always said like, why do they give you a brown, like the Ink Joys? I'm like, who wants a brown Ink Joy gel? Like, what am I gonna do with that? And then I buy a brown mild liner. <laughs> but I really thought that this would be nice for when I'm doing spreads that are either neutral or um, when I do like coffee theme spreads that have a lot of brown in them. I thought this might actually be really cute. So I bought a brown mild liner, which I, is, yeah, I used to always say, like, why do they always give you brown, and you, know, you know. But here we are with brown mild liners. So um, that's what I got as far as that. And then, so I bought these a little prematurely. Um, I got my first Jelly Roll pens, and I'm so excited. However, I do not have... The black paper yet or any kind of dark paper to write on so I can't use them yet but I figured this would uh kind of motivate me to finally order that black paper that I've been wanting I was gonna get some black cardstock at Michael's but they didn't have exactly what I wanted um and I've been looking at getting some um black paper off of Etsy that I'm really uh interested in for my disc bound catch-all so um, yeah, I picked up a pack of jelly rolls, so I can't even use them yet, but I'm so excited about using them. And what sold me on getting the pack rather than just an individual is that I wanted to try all three, like, sizes, I guess. So I've got the fine point, medium point, and bold point. So you can use them for all different things. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited and I'm really hoping to find an insert for my B6 Traveler's Notebook that has black paper. Because I think that would be so fun for, like, literally anything. <laughs> so, that is, um, yeah, I'm very excited. Again, I can't even use them yet, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited to use them when I get the paper. Alright, and so, I finally got, finally, I know I'm a little late. I got the This Is Us stuff that I've been wanting. So... My Michaels that that I frequently go to has not carried any This Is Us stuff, which is very strange. I don't know why. Um, so I haven't been able to get it. Yes, I could have got it online, but I'm just... Like Queen and I talk about it all the time, I hate paying that shipping. You see that shipping and it's like, eh, I don't really need it. When you're in the store <laughs> and I had a coupon, it's like, okay... And when I saw this, this was the thing I wanted the most. This is a die cut pack. Um, the I believe it's called the Mental Health Pack. Um, and it has things like Be Kind to Yourself, I Heart Therapy. Um, yeah, I'm going to open it in a second. But I am so excited that I finally got my hands on this stuff because I haven't been able to get it 
Um, I got the weekly kit stickers. Of the, I forget what this one is called. Um, we believe in respect. Da -da -da. Yeah, I don't know if it has like a name of this exact uh, book, but I am so excited to have it. I love the diversity and the representation on the, I mean, the, this is, this is amazing. Like, and the stickers are so cute and they're all matte, which I really like. And I love this little coffee cup. Oh my gosh. These are just so cute. I know these are more like springy colors, but that's okay. Even, you know, even though I love fall and I'm very excited for fall, sometimes you just want to use bright colors. So I will definitely be using these soon when I'm in the mood for this kind of color scheme. I just think these are so beautiful and awesome. I'm so glad I finally, finally got my freaking hands on them. And I got one more sticker book. Um, this was the collaboration with Wire and Honey, which is awesome. And this is the, um, I, I, yeah, I forget the name of the, the sticker book. Um, yeah, these don't really have like names on them. I know they did like, you know, on the, the rack or whatever at Michael's, but this is obviously like the, uh, equality and justice um themed sticker book because it has things like stand for equality women supporting women bell bell i am brave i will fight i am fearless i have a voice i will not be silenced i love that raise hell and change the world awesome out of many one oh that is Wow, that is amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's really cool. I was not made to be subtle. Oh my God, I cannot wait to use this freaking book. Love what makes you different. Oh my God. What does that say? We can only be human together with a heart. Wow, that is so cool. Educating is activism. Smash the patriarchy. Be a force. Planners for change. Raise hell and change the world again. It's good to be you. It's good to be... No. It's good to be you. It's good to be me. We can all shine differently. That was a little strange. Because it says, good to be you. It's good to be me. We can all... Yeah. Anyway, proud to be different, sensitive, creative, empathetic, brave, and kind. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. I am brave. I'm fearless. I'm strong. I love the checklist here. Oh, I love this book so much. Girls supporting girls. We are the granddaughters of the witches you could not burn. That is awesome. That is awesome. Girls should be, so this girl should be pretty and it's marked out. Smart, creative, brave, independent, funny, strong. Girls just want to have fundamental rights. Yeah, pretty much. Girls supporting girls, stand for love. Hashtag include women. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, this, this book is everything. Um, I'm very excited. And I'm going to open up my die cuts because you obviously can't see all of them but you get a crap ton in here it does have them all in the back here but we're gonna open them up oh my god these are uh wait are you i didn't know these were i didn't know these were sticker Okay, it literally says die cut stickers, but my eyes weren't paying attention. I thought they were just die cuts. These are stickers. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm very excited. Um, can you tell? Okay, so here's the plan. Since these are stickers, I'm probably going to... What I'm probably going to do with these is laminate them... 
uh, laminate them and um, use like wet erase markers because I can reuse them over and over again. And as far as these, I'll probably use them as stickers, maybe laminate one of them. But anyway, so these have mental health check-in, which is really cool. It's like mood tracking. Um, it's okay to not be okay, which I absolutely love. Um, gonna get through this. So pretty. You are enough. Be kind to yourself. I heart therapy. Yes, I do. I did my best. <laughs> Try my best. Uh, one day at a time. These are fantastic. Oh, fill up your cup. Man, these are, God, these are great. I am strong. Ballot. Or be kind to yourself. Your feelings are valid. Love it. And mental health matters. Take care of yourself. Ask for help. Speak up. Yeah, so these are all incredibly beautiful. And um, I am, like, just thrilled. I, I didn't read. I didn't realize that these were actually stickers. So, like I said, I'm probably going to use um, some of them as stickers and also laminate and keep some of them as die cuts um yeah i am i'm so excited <laughs> i'm very very excited about these a couple more things for michael's here um this was the best like bargain that i got i think out of everything okay so you guys have seen on my channel before um both on my channel and also on my instagram that I love both of these brands, Shine Sticker Studio and Sweet Kawaii Design. And they had these notebooks and I haven't checked yet to see if they fit. I'm almost positive that these are B6 size, so five by seven. Um, oh, four and a half. four and a half by six and three quarters that actually might be here I just have to know anyway even if I don't use them in my b6 cover these notebooks are freaking adorable so obviously we have iced coffee here with a donut this little smiling donut and we have have a magical day with a cute little unicorn I'm gonna open these absolutely beautiful now let's see i'm assuming that the insides are going to be just blank like regular like lined paper um i would be thrilled if they were dot grid but i'd be shocked <gasps> they're dot <laughs> they're dot grid and they have freaking designs stop oh my god this one's lined and that one's dot grid and they have design Y'all can see my face right now. Oh my god. Okay, so for these two notebooks together, I paid a dollar and forty-seven cents. I could not even buy these at Dollar Tree for that cheap. They were on sale. I don't know why they were so cheap. They are absolutely beautiful. And now that I see that I have a dot grid and a line. Oh, I hope these fit well in my B6 because I'm, honey, I'm putting them right in there. I will take something out if I have to. Oh, cute. Stop. Oh, my God. This is the best. All right. Let's see. Oh, my God. Purple dot grid with the fur. Oh. Oh my god, these are so cute. Holy crap. Okay, hold on, y'all. We have to take a little detour here. I have one more thing to show you that I bought, but we, we, hold on. Just hold on. I, I'm gonna do a video on my B6 soon, but I'm obviously not done setting it up, and I am still figuring out how I am 
using it exactly, but I think I'm going to slide this one out real quick because I love using this notebook, but I don't think I want to keep it in here. Um, so I'm probably just going to use it like as a notebook. I got this at Michael's. I use it for my teacher stuff because I'm a part-time teacher. So it's, um, you know, I don't need like a whole teacher planner, but it's perfect to just have a little notebook there. Now this is obviously smaller than, than these, but just by a little bit, like not by too much. So I wonder if um so that totally fits so again it is smaller than the other like it's not exactly b6 but um who cares it fits so that is um very exciting thinking about i like this one i got a dollar tree but i'm not crazy about the paper i like the front a lot but the paper is not the best like yeah so i'm thinking about um switching out this and it's also like thicker than i need it to be so um i'm thinking about taking this out and switching it out with one of these because i've only done i was just playing around with this and i hate it like I just don't like it and I don't want to have to look at this for all of September. <laughs> like, I just don't like it. I like the idea, but I'm, I can't draw. So I, yeah, I'm not happy with it. And it's mainly the paper I don't like. So since I know that these fit now, I am going to hold on to this. I mean, I can use it again in the future. Like I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, just deciding which that was my mood tracker so i need my space could be good for mood tracker let's do for mood tracker i think i i do want dot grid so this would be perfect actually this might be a little too big though this little cover maybe not let's see And yes, I am, I know I said before, I'm going to be doing uh, videos on, you know, my journey or whatever with, with Traveler's Notebooks, because this is like so new to me. Um, and like my B6 setup, which is obviously I'm literally changing it right now. It's changing all the time because I'm still trying to like figure everything out. But I have been just like loving it, like aesthetically, like it's just so so pleasing um and i'm so glad that these notebooks are going to fit in here and i'll be able to use them and um yeah that's pretty much pretty much it for right now so i'm going to so now i've got this for mood tracking this for i don't know what yet and <laughs> since i have one more elastic i want to throw in this guy because it's just too cute there's a gnat in here why there i never see gnats right until i start filming i don't get it stop like stop okay so that was a little b6 like side tangent but i just i had to see like if those fit but i will be doing videos specifically about this showing you my setup and how I'm using it and all that. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm still figuring it out myself. So I didn't want to make a video before I was like entirely sure of what I was doing um, with my B6. And now that I have those new inserts, things might change. I have one more thing to show you. This is a big thing um, as far as the size of it, but the price is not big. I just wanted to share with you guys. So I'm not like endorsing this because I haven't used it yet. But I am going to let you know. I got my first laminator. So I'm really excited. Um, I got my first laminator. It is by Scotch. And it's called the Pro Thermal Laminator. I got this 
at Target for $20. And I'm very excited to use it. Again, um, I haven't used it yet. So I'm not entirely sure, um, you know, how well it's going to work. But I know several people who have this exact laminator and say it's great. Hopefully it is. Um, I did buy some thermal laminating pouches to use with it. And I also bought, um, and these are um, like letter size, eight and a half by 11. See there. And then these are four by six, which I thought could be um, great just to use like for photos and things and just smaller things, not to like waste the whole sheet. So um, that's like my biggest purchase. Again, it's, I mean, it wasn't very expensive at all. Um, so I am really hoping that that works out. I'm very excited to use it. I, um, like I said, I've never had a laminator of my own. I've always had to like borrow them from people. So, um, I'm very excited, but that is it. That is all that I got as far as like office stuff. Like I said, I did get a few like home decor things that I have not, um, um, that I don't have here that they're like, you know, throughout the house. So, um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will be posting in my stories and things uh, about some of the things that I picked up because they're just too cute not to share. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this little haul, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. Uh, be sure to register to vote. I'm just stealing that from Smoky Glow because it's important. And, uh, be excellent to each other. We just watched the uh, Bill and Ted uh, face the music, the new Bill and Ted, and it was fantastic. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!